I'm going to change the coolant in my Vulcan 900. Uh, it's pretty old. And so start. I'm going to take off my seat. Uh, you know, just use your key. Turn it. Seat comes off. Then this side cover has to come off. There's one screw here. That's a four millimeter. Uh, take that off. Be right back. Also, you have to take off the side cover here and make getting that off easier. There's a regular Phillips head screw that's actually down here. You have to take that off. Then you can pull this off. Once you take all of that off, uh, you can take this off. There's a uh, four millimeter. Actually, that, that looks a little than four, but there's one there, one there. But I think I'm just going to pull this off and I got to drain this. It has a four. Looks like it's just going to be those two. Okay. Turn upside down. If I had a straw, I'd just stick it up in there and probably drain it a lot quicker, get some air up here, but I don't. There's not that much, so. Okay, next I have to, and make sure you clean up any, especially if you have pets, any fluid that you leak, as they'll, uh, I guess it's tasty for animals and it'll kill them. So, now, I have to take these two off so I can loosen my tank, pull it back. Um, I think those are... 10, 10 millimeter. Uh, let me check. I'm going to go get my stuff, be right back. Okay, those are 12s. So, just uh, this thing does not. So, I've already loosened them. Take these out. Okay, and then I'm going to pull back the whole, whole gas tank. I'm going to put this on a stand. Be right back. Okay. Pull this up. Pull it up a little, and then you got to pull it back. Okay. And I need to pull it back enough so I can get to right here. It's like your uh, radiator cap on your car. Now you got to take that off. Okay, I'll try and get you over here. And that takes two turns. You turn it once, you can feel it click. You gotta turn it again, feel the other click, then it'll pull up. Okay, so now. It's the fun part, we gotta go under the bike. So there's a drain hole. I'm gonna take you off for the 
Okay, on the opposite side of the bike, um, there's your uh, the nut for the oil, and the one for to empty is right here. You have to take that out, and you have to drain the bike. So that's why you want to take the cap off, let the air in there, and it'll be a lot easier. So I'm uh, going to get something to let it drain, and then I'm going to open that up. I'm probably going to need... Yeah, I think I'm going to need a short extension. All right. Um, can't really see what it is. I don't... It's either a 12 or a 10. I'll let you know. Be right back. Okay, it turned out it's a uh, 10 millimeter. I've loosened it. Of course, now i got to find it again. Um... Okay, let's see it. I'm gonna get it with my I don't know if you can see or not. Probably not. Okay, so use my fingers to loosen this up. Matter of fact, let's use the Alrighty. Get another one just looks like that one should contain it. you're seeing this but okay when it stops I'll, I'm gonna tip up the bike get out every last drop there see it from up here draining. Okay. Okay, we call that good. Okay, I'm gonna put the screw back in I tightened it up and of course uh, check your manual what uh, solution you want. So this one is 50-50 uh, coolant and water. So I'm gonna hopefully get most of it in my bike. Or not. Guess I'll go slower. Okay, you gotta listen. You can hear you know that sound when it's coming to the top.
Okay, so I'm just going to top it off here and then get the cap back on. Of course, i got to make sure. I'm going to give this a, I'm going to wash it down after I'm done. Of course, clean, clean my floor off. Uh, I'll be back shortly. Okay, you've got to, uh, you can't just slide it front. There's a uh, little brackets and mounts on the frame and um, little U-shaped things underneath here. you got to line them up, otherwise the uh, tank will just bop all over the place. So, we look under there, line them up. That definitely wasn't it. That felt like it. You'll know when you get it in, uh, the, they're not actually down like this, they're kind of like that, and then there's a rubber thing that they fit into. So bring it back past the holes, and then kind of got to lift up on the back end, and, and you'll feel it when it catches, and then you got to wiggle it, get it all the way front, and then got to make sure there's no really free wiggling going on. Once you tighten them down, uh, it shouldn't be any. So, let's tighten these down. You go to the front, and you can check. If you look in this area, you can see if they're sitting in where they're supposed to be. So it sits in there tight. So now all I got to do is put So now I got to put this back in. These are the four millimeter screws. These are for the side covers to go into. Okay. Don't forget to fill up your reservoir uh, to full. Okay. Now, this goes like this. Obviously this cutout's where that goes. And you put these where the rubber parts are. That kind of just pushes in. So slide that in. And then you take your sure that was a four millimeter also. One's a silver one. Okay, so now this, this, and this part go into the rubber parts right there.
Okay, then we have the screw that just says a Phillips. Is up top here. So your side cover doesn't fall off. Pretty much all it does is lock it in. Okay, put my seat back on. I'm done. Just gonna take go wash it and then wash my floor. I'm done. Any questions? Let me know. See ya.